Hey, so if you're thinking about using these when you run, watch this video and know exactly why you should or should not use this next time you go out. Hey everybody, what's happening? I'm Coach Brian, strength coach and triathlon coach with CriticalBench.com and I wanted to tell you all about the Elevation Training Mask and how it applies to the sport of running. So if you have one of these or ever have used one of these before, you know the controversy that it is surrounding these things right here. Because when these were first introduced to the market, it was all about altitude training, altitude uh, effect on the body. But in reality, science disproved that theory. This is nothing more than a restrictive respiratory training device. So if you're gonna use this for the sport of running, make sure you ease into it, progress into it. You can't just rip this thing out of the box Put it on your face and go crush a 5K. You have to build up a tolerance for this. So what that looks like is that maybe wear it around the house for 10 to 15 minutes. Go to the gym and do some light stretching. Slowly get that heart rate up because over time, this is gonna help strengthen the respiratory muscles. But if you go into this with just throwing it on your face, you're gonna fatigue very quickly. You're gonna be ticked off because you just ruined a workout because your output is not gonna be as great with this thing off. Uh, or with it with it on. So take this thing off if you're really focusing on your training. Spend time uh, building up a tolerance for this and then eventually use it for uh, any type of running or conditioning that uh, you see fit. Hey, so if you have a question or a comment uh, regarding the Elevation Training Mask, post it now underneath this video. I will get to answering it for you. Uh, so hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully you're gonna take this information and run with it, literally. Have a good one, we'll see you next time.